Hi, I'm Charlie with Competitive Edge Products, and I am going to show you what I've put up in my backyard. Check out all of the Kodiak tents I'm gonna tell you about. We've got the one person, two person, four person, six persons, and the eight persons on the end. We've got the, the cabin tent, we've got the flexbow tent, We've got them all, and I'm gonna show you, if you're in the market to buy one of these, by the time you're done watching this video, you're gonna know all about them. Okay, so the, the one-person swag tent is one of the newest designs from Kodiak. It's super lightweight, it's pretty compact, it's got these aluminum poles. This cot that this is on is not included. It's something that we have on our website, but it is sold separately. The idea is that you can roll this entire thing up it's got a pad inside of it, which I'm gonna show you in a second. And you simply roll it up, cinch it closed, and you're on your way. So it's watertight. If you get rained on, you don't have to worry about getting wet. I took this out to a girls camp uh, the very first time. The youth obviously don't share tents with the leaders. So I took this with the cot, just went back into the brush and uh, had my own little camping area it was it was really nice we got rained on that night and I was a little bit worried because I had never tried this before I didn't get a drop inside so you can see that there's all these flaps that cover the zippers the flaps that cover the seams everything is double double stitched and I'm gonna pull this back for you because it was uh, before it rained it was quite hot but one of the nice things about this is that there's a screen so you can zip this back and you can zip it back all the way to the bottom but uh, for most of the night until I started to feel a couple raindrops this is what I had look up at the stars get a decent breeze there's also a screen right here if you come take a look at this shot right here this is a screen and you can Take a shot and look all the way down through there. And on the very end at the bottom, there's also a screen and those zip up tight as well. These are pretty roomer, roomy. They're six feet, eight inches. And I'm gonna climb in this real quick and show you exactly just how roomy it is. I'm about 5'10". I'm gonna put my feet at the very bottom so you can see. <clears throat> so, as you can see here, there's plenty of room. It's quite comfortable. The padding in here is two inches thick and it's my favorite. I've actually, when we've had guests over, I've gotten this thing out and used this just for the guests instead of a mattress. So, it's pretty roomy. You close this thing all the way up, zip this, this flap, you have complete privacy. Some other nice things is there's some gear pockets in here. When you, when you roll it up and store it, you take these poles. There's, there's three sets, one right here, one right, right there in the middle, and one at the bottom. And you put them all together, and then there's a little storage bag where you put them inside the tent. Awesome tent if you like to camp in the back of your truck, if you um, have an ATV. We've even had some customers take this on uh, packing with horses or other packing animals because it rolls up pretty compact. If you don't use the pad, it's extremely compact. Some people prefer to use their own pad, um, depending on the, the situation that you're in, but amazing, amazing little tent. It's called a swag tent. It originated in uh, Australia. They're pretty big in Australia. They haven't quite caught on in the United States like they have in Australia, but uh, they are catching on and they are a great solution for, for a one person camping. Now I'm gonna show you the two-person Kodiak tent that we have. This tent in particular is very, very unique in the sense that it is it holds up best to storms. It's the surface area because of the height. It's smaller than these six foot, six and a half foot, seven and a half foot tents. Being that way, in, I mean, it's incredible. Some of the tents can be shaking and, and they all hold up really well, but. When they're all shaking and rattling around, this one barely moves because of the height. It's got the telescoping poles here, so it, it's the most compact out of any of the tents. The swag tent right here actually takes up more space when you include the pad. You roll this up, it actually takes up more space stored than this one, surprisingly. This comes in one bag, 
It's got the pull bag inside the, the main bag with the tent body as well. And it's about this big. I'll show you in just a second. But uh, one, a couple of the unique features of this is it's got this triangular window. It's got one on both sides. And it's got this sleeve right here that pulls the tent out. And uh, it's got the, the newer redesigned metal loops. All of our tents have these now. And they, you can see, instead of just the old nylon strap that they used to have, they improve things throughout the years as they get customer feedback and do more research and things like that. You can see that all of the corners are reinforced with extra stitching and there's double stitching throughout the, the core body of the tent. And let me show you inside. So this is officially a two-person tent. You can see it really is a two-person tent. It's not one of those tents where you advertise two-person, but you're in there like sardines. This is just a regular size sleeping bag on a sleeping pad. And you can see this space, this area over here, actually takes up, is, is larger than the space with this sleeping bag right here. So a couple of the features in here. These do unzip from the interior. If it rains, you have this huge uh, three inch uh, overlap over this zipper right here. So if it rains, you're not going to get rain inside the tent. It's got the, the best YKK zippers. And if you're a zipper nerd, you'll know what that means. They are the best zippers out there. They're like luggage zippers. They don't jam. You can just, I mean, they're just so easy. It's a lot different than the, the sleeping bag zippers where, you know, they start to come undone if, if you just in a resting state, they start to come undone. These are just awesome. And it allows you, with two zippers on each side, you can go like this and get some ventilation. And it's got this flap on the outside uh, that I showed you a moment ago. So you can, it actually will even give you a little bit of ventilation even if it's raining. So you can control how much ventilation you want. And then these windows, they do roll up and then they attach right here. So let me show you real quick. You can just, you can roll them up like that, attach them with these buttons here. And because there's windows on every wall, no matter what direction the wind's blowing, you're going to get a decent breeze. And then there's the pockets that are sewn underneath both triangular windows. The loops up here. So you can be creative. There's one on the other side too. You can string something, hang an LED lantern or something like that. The windows, like I said, they all zip up watertight. Um, you can roll them up. This window's just rolled up right here. But you can see that everything is designed to keep, is, to keep water out. It's not gonna let water in. You've got these, these uh, pockets right here to just in case you've got some horizontal rain and it's really beating down. This tent is very, very popular amongst um, like people who are ATV campers or, or uh, they, they need to keep it as lightweight, as compact, as small. This is the, the most compact of all the Kodiak tents. We get some people that go uh, horse uh, back, pa they pack in with horses and uh, other animals. This one is a really good one to do that with. It comes in this bag and everything's in this bag. The pull bag, if you want to see how big the pulls are, they're a lot smaller than the other Kodiak tents because they telescope. So they actually come to about right here. And the other ones come up to, actually they hit the ceiling. So it's the most compact of all of them. You can see, if you can point the camera in here, the corners are reinforced. The corners have an extra canvas right there. And on the bottom, they're reinforced as well. They're welded on the bottom so that you don't get water coming up from the floor. All of the Kodiak tents, which is really cool, let me show you from the outside. You'll see what I mean. All of the Kodiak tents have what's called a bathtub floor liner so that it actually kind of sticks up. And it might look a little bit unnatural to see the floor, but if you've got water pooling clear out here, even if it came over this seam for that matter, it's not going to get inside the tent. So very reliable, really awesome tent. Let's head over to the Flexbo, the 10x10, 10 10, the 9x8 next. This one here is the 9x8. <clears throat> this is called the Flexbo because you can see, let me show you. The, the reason it's, these are called the Flexbo style is because 
the bows, they flex. Once you put them in, they, they start to, to bow, and then they, they can handle a lot of weight on the roof. I've done some videos where I've shown tons of snow on top, where I've scraped it off, and I put, there was so much snow on top where I thought, this is gonna break my tent. This is the breaking point. But I never, it never broke. I mean, everything bent severely, but it went back into place afterwards, so there was no permanent bending or anything. Still watertight, waterproof, didn't get any, with the, all the ice and the expansion of the water into the seams and everything, I still didn't get any water inside, so. Very pleased with the, with the Flexbo style. So this is the nine by eight. This is a four person tent. The four person tent, the, the other Flexbo tents, the 10 by 10 and the 10 by 14, they come in three different grades. There's a basic, there's a deluxe, and then there's a super deluxe VX. The nine by eight doesn't. There's one version and it's a deluxe version. There's no basic, there's no deluxe VX. So here's some of the features of it. This right here is, uh, if you can come and uh, view it from this angle right here. This is an airflow vent right here. And uh, this, there's metal in here. It feels like it's metal. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it sure feels like it's metal. But uh, it's designed to allow airflow. If you've got a breeze coming this way, it's gonna trap it like that. On the other side of the tent, it's sewn the opposite way. So if wind's blowing that way, then you get ventilation, whether the wind's blowing this way or that way. And it's got a little screen. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's got that screen right there. And that zips up from the inside. You can see that if, it, if it's raining, you don't need to close that even from the inside. Some people want to close it, but uh, you don't necessarily need to. That's what the purpose of this flap is. It gives you, um, it gives you ventilation even if it's raining. So a lot of people really like that. And you can see again, everything is double stitched. It's, it's way over overkill in a good way. And uh, let me show you the inside. Before I show you the inside, actually, this also has the same metal stake loops, the, the reinforced corners as well. And then right here, where there's probably the most pressure from this pull right here, where you can kind of pull that out. This has um, these, uh, you can see all the reinforcement with all the stitching right here. <clears throat> but I do want to show you, well, I'll actually show you this on the next one. Let me show you the inside of this one. So, comes with the awning, okay? The awning can roll up and then you, it rolls up with these, you just, you just store it onto these loops right here. So you don't have to set up the awning. If the wind's blowing really bad, it's actually quite convenient to take it down. You just do this. <laughs> You just do that and you can see that it's down. And then if I want to roll this up, I'm not gonna do this right now for the sake of time, but you roll it up and then it just, it just rolls up and then attaches like that. So you can still, you can still get a view from all of the windows. So then if you wanna put this back up, it's actually not too hard. Let me show you real fast. You just put the spike through the grommet there. And I'm going to pull this tight. So it's not like if there's wind, you have to go through a big hassle of taking the awning down and then putting it back up. You can see it's quite simple. And voila. We're back in business. And this awning area is great to put a couple camp chairs if you want to keep a cooler out of the sun, um, firewood, things like that. You can keep it right under here. All right, let me show you the inside. <laughs> Finally, the inside. <clears throat> so the 9 by 8 it says, I used to tell customers that uh, the only drawback is the, the height for me personally. So I'm 5'10", and they're six feet tall, but that must be like right in the center because even if you're six foot, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna touch right here. There's I guess what I'm saying is there's still a place where you can stand up straight if you're up to six feet tall, okay? This here is the inside of the, the uh, airflow vent and you can zip it up 
Again, this has the YKK zippers, which are the nicest zippers that are out there. They're uh, highly, they're patented and, and uh, anyways, I'll, I'll tell you more about that in a minute. This has the bag organizer. You can put coats, t-shirts, um, iPads, you know, clothing inside here, a jacket if you want to. And it has loops on the bottom so you can hang something else from there if you'd like as well. This, you can hang them both together. This here is the gear pocket. And so some people will hang the gear pocket here and the bag organizer right here and nothing on that side. But you can see this one has all these individual pockets, which is nice if you need to put something like cell phones, glasses, contacts, things like that. You can put them in there quite nicely. Again, they just clip up, clip, they just unclip from the ceiling so you can put them on either side. It's up to you. Now, as far as the four person goes, this is a good size sleeping bag right here. It's not a mummy bag that's really small. It's not an extra wide that's super, super big. It's just a good size sleeping bag. You can see that you really can fit four people because I could put two more of those right there and then another one going up and down on the other side. Four person, if you're using big cots, you're not gonna be able to fit four people in here. Three, two maybe. Um, if, if you've got kids, you know, you can fit a couple kids. So they say it's four person and it is, but you have to realize those limitations depending on the gear that you prefer to sleep with. It could increase it if you've got little kids. It could decrease it if you're using big, wide, extra large, four foot wide cots, okay? It has these gear pockets sewn in here. Uh, one under this window, one under that window. And then <clears throat> there are four windows in here. So there's a window right here and it zips up, it's watertight. And there's a door right here. This door also unzips. So there's a door on both sides. So if someone's sleeping right here, they need to go out, go to the restroom or whatever in the middle of the night. They're not stepping over everybody else. They can get out this side. Same if someone's sleeping on this side over there, they can, they can get out. So it's really versatile like that. A lot of people really like this four man tent because it's very compact. The poles telescope, um, the, the bag once it's all, in fact I can show you the bag. The pull bag is what customers often ask. How big is the pull bag for this? And you can see it's not too bad. So, um, again, it's a, it's not a backpacking tent. It's a more of a car camping tent, but it is nice to have one that, that's, that's relatively compact. The, the tent body goes inside this bag right here. The poles go inside this bag. And one of the nice things I like, it comes with the, the owner's manual, the care manual, which tells you how to take care of it. But some people, sometimes people lose that. Inside of uh, the, 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 the tent body bag are the instructions on how to set it up. So you don't ever have to worry about losing your instructions and wondering how to set it up. And also, it's a five minute setup. First time you set it up, probably take you twice that long. But after that, every subsequent time, it's gonna be a little bit faster. All right, let me show you the cabin style tent. <clears throat> this is our cabin tent and it is my wife's favorite tent. She doesn't like camping very much. So when we camp, this is the one that she wants to take. Now we have seven kids, so we, we don't fit in one tent anymore. But when we did, this is the one that she'd prefer, and let me tell you why. It's got this awning right here, which is really nice. You can set a, a bunch of camping chairs around in here, and there's an enclosure that you can purchase separately, and it is really nice and has saved us. It attaches with this heavy-duty Velcro right here, and then encloses this whole awning, so it makes it another room. Our teenagers don't, they, they like to sleep in their own tent, but sometimes they'll sleep out in here. We'll put the wall enclosure on, put a tarp on the ground, and then they'll sleep right here with plenty of room. And then they're not too far away from us. Sometimes people that have pets, you have a dog or a couple dogs, and uh, you're worried about them going potty inside the tent. When you put the wall enclosure up, the ground can still be exposed unless you put a ground tarp on, and uh, kind of minimizes that problem. 
So you get rained on. The very first time we took it out, we actually got rained on. And we uh, had a card table, a couple camp chairs, and just waited out the storm. It was actually kind of a fun experience. It wasn't too bad of a storm, but once it was over, none of us were wet. We, didn't, we weren't crammed inside the tent. Uh, trying to play games in there, there was plenty of room for us. So uh, this right here, if you come inside, you can see this is, this is, and this is why my wife really likes this, is it's seven and a half feet tall. So I, I'm 5'10", this thing feels more like a room. Uh, if you're claustrophobic, this is a really good tent to have, okay? There's a window right here. There's a door right here. And this door. <clears throat> so if you have the wall enclosure out here, it has six large screened windows. So sometimes people will just take this, this door and they'll leave it open. Of course, on a of course without it, you might get a bunch of bugs. Um, but if you have the enclosure, you can just leave this open and it makes it one gigantic uh, camping living area. So let me show you inside here again. It's seven and a half feet tall, so it's quite roomy. The front and the back walls are completely vertical and that's one of the things that makes it feel more like a room and not a tent. And even these, these uh, side walls, they don't slope too terribly much. They're, they're, they're not... Uh, they don't feel like they're closing in on you. Okay. <laughs> These ones have nice, nice zippers. They're not going to jam on you. There's windows on every side. So no matter what way the wind is blowing, you can get a breeze. And check out this giant window. It's just huge. If you're doing some summer camping in a hot area, it's nice. And most tents get hot in the daytime anyway. So even if you're freezing cold at night, at some point in the daytime, it's nice to, to get yourself some ventilation. All the Kodiak tents have this special no seam mesh, is what it's called. And it's hard to explain, and it's hard to show through a camera, but if the threads are woven so thin, but so tight, that it's very pleasant to look at. So I can sit here and look out at, the, at, at whatever's out there, and my eyes don't catch the little like on when you on your patio on your back screen you might look out there and you might notice all the squares in your in your screen it's different with this no seam mesh in fact one of the nice things is it's woven so tightly that if it's raining lightly it'll actually won't even come inside the tent it'll just beat up and and uh, stay on the outside if it's raining heavy of course you're going to start to get water inside the tent but that's okay you just zip this up tight and it's going to keep you dry so this is a six person tent. This sleeping bag right here is a queen size sleeping bag. So it's extra large. You can see that you really can fit six people in here quite comfortably. Again, it does differ a little bit if you're using a, a, an extra large cot or something like that. Um, you might be able to fit five or four it just depends on, on your gear and, and what your needs are. If you're, if you're a hunter and you have lots of gear, if you're bringing pets and, and hunting dogs or whatever, then obviously things will be a little bit different for you. It's got these gear pockets sewn underneath these two uh, windows here. These aren't doors, but this is. This large screen actually functions as a door. So you can fit large Piece, uh, large equipment through this very conveniently. Um, if you've got a blow-up mattress that you're going to blow up at the car because you need the cigarette lighter or, or whatever to, to power the pump that pumps it up, you can open this up, fit it in, set it down. This awning up here actually closes and that is the closure for the window. So when you want to close this window, you simply let down these two. Well, let me show you. Stay right there and I'll, let, I'll show you from the outside. So I'm going to zip this closed. And then suppose a storm, a microburst just hits. It's actually quite fast. You just drop both of these poles. 
and then I'm going to zip this up from the exterior. You can zip it up from the interior, it's just easier from the exterior. <laughs> And then it velcros here on the bottom, so it's watertight. You don't have to worry about getting any water in there. So, <clears throat> there's many reasons people like this one over the flex bow. Most people get the flex bow. Most people who see this one next to a flex bow get this one. But most people who have never seen this one, they just go with the flex bow that I'm about to show you next. So, just to recap on this, Seven and a half feet tall, super roomy. My recommendation, if you're in the market to purchase a Kodiak tent, if you're the type of person that goes out for a week at a time, this is the tent you want. If, it's, if you're a weekend warrior, you go out for one night, maybe two nights, I would get the Flexbow. This one takes probably 20 minutes to put up. It takes another 10 minutes to put up for the awning. The awning though has its own poles, which makes it very strong, so. It's not like it's just the two spikes that are holding it up. You've got poles going along the, the ridges and then these, these here. So my recommendation, if you want a five minute setup, you're gonna wanna go with the Flexbow style that I'm about to show you next. And that's what most people go with. If uh, you don't mind spending 20 minutes, 30 minutes to set up a tent, this is the one I would recommend going with. Um, it's a super deluxe uh, tent for camping. Um, people love it. So let me show you what most people get though. This here is the 10 by 10 and it's a six person tent. The 10 by 10 and the 10 by 14 are very close. We don't sell much more of one than the other. It just depends on how many people you want to camp. These ones come, let me show you, these ones come in three different models. <laughs> This is a two-person sleeping bag here. So to give you an idea of how much room there is, uh, you really can fit six people in here. So this is a two-person here. Um, there's room down here. If you've got kiddos, if you've got pets, you can fit even, even more possibly or less, depending on your gear. The Flexbo tents come in three different models. There's a basic model, and the basic model has the same tent body, except there's no side windows, and this door right here isn't a window, it's just a door. And the door that, that the camera is looking through right now is also just a door, it's not a window. So the basic model has two windows, the deluxe model has four windows, two in the front, two in the back, and then this is the deluxe VX, the super deluxe, and it has six windows, which means it has these triangular windows on the side. So again, the, the, there's some other differences as well. The main differences are the number of windows, two versus four versus six. Let me tell you a few of the other differences. The basic model, again, this is the Super Deluxe VX. The basic model doesn't have this gear loft. It doesn't have this bag organizer right here. And it doesn't have this pocket organizer on th that's right here. It has, two windows. It'd be this one here and it'd be this one here. These tents breathe really well. So my recommendation if you're on a pretty tight budget, I think the basic model is the way to go. If you're a, a scout group, a boy scout, girl scout, uh, youth camps, places like that, a camping rental company, it can be nice to, to take out all the bells and whistles because then there's less that can that, that uh, they can destroy. I've been a scout leader and the scouts, as much as I love them, several of them are my boys, uh, have figured out ways to destroy things like this gear loft. You know, someone hangs from it and, and something, the clip breaks or, what, or whatever. So, uh, the deluxe model, uh, there is one other difference I want to tell you about. The deluxe model has it, it doesn't have these side windows. This is the deluxe super deluxe VX, this one. The deluxe model is the same as everything you see right now, except it's missing this triangular window on this side and that side. Instead of that triangular window, it has one of those airflow vents right here. And the airflow vent does have its uses. It doesn't allow as much ventilation, but it does definitely have, have its, its functions. Um, if you're getting rained on, 
a lot of people, the, a common question that I've gotten over the years are, if I get this deluxe VX model, is it going to, with the extra zippers, am I going to get some more, am I going to get water in here? Am I, am I more susceptible to it leaking water? And the answer is emphatically no, you're not going to get any more water. You can see that it's like three inches here between the zipper and the window itself. So you're not going to get any, any, any water in here. It zips up that flap right there. If water were to hit the zipper, I mean, it's impossible. It just can't hit it. So we don't get any complaints of, of water in any of the tents, including the VX. So interesting thing is, is if it is light, lightly raining, uh, and these windows were open if it were lightly raining right now, you would notice that the water doesn't come through these windows. It simply, it simply beads down. Um, if it's raining heavily, that's a different story. It will start to, to leak through. So, awesome tent. This is a really good family camping tent. Gives you plenty of space for extra totes. Put your firewood in here if it's raining. Uh, your camp chairs, you can fit a cooler in. Um, this is definitely one of our best sellers. Uh, lately though, our best seller, and this is the one you're probably going to end up going with, based on my experience from customers, this is probably the one you're going to get. <laughs> this is the 10 by 14. Let me have you back up so you can compare the size of both of these. Notice the, the footprint of the 10 by 14. Okay, you can come in. Notice the footprint of the 10 by 14. It is so, so spacious. It's so spacious. Check this out. The 10 by 14 just has so much room. Um, there's a two person sleeping bag there, a one person here, one person here. This is officially an eight person tent. Again, it, it can differ. If you're using extra large cots, you're not going to be able to fit eight people. You know, there are some cots that are like four feet wide where you can only fit three or four. So this is an awesome, awesome tent. It's just like the one I showed you, but it's 10 by 14, so you can fit more. The, the gear loft is a little bit bigger. Um, it's got the same pocket organizer, the same bag organizer. It's got the organizer sewn underneath the, the window in the front and the window in the back here. <clears throat> and uh, this is what most people get. We, get. we get calls where customers contact us and say, I got the 10 by 10, I love it so much, I regret not getting the 10 by 14, can I please exchange it? But what we don't get, we don't get customers who get this one and call in and ask for the smaller one. People generally love this bigger tent. Um, so one of the common questions customers ask him, am I going to be able to find a footprint for this if I go to Yellowstone National Park or Yosemite or, or you know, or an organized campground, do they have tents big enough for a 10 by 14? And the answer is yes. I have yet to, been, to be in a campground that didn't accommodate a 10 by 14. Are they out there? I'm sure they are somewhere. Some place has one probably where there's restrictions to the size of a 10 by 14, but I've yet to see one personally. So this is the go-to tent for most people. It's a five minute, one man setup. It's just awesome. One other thing I wanted to show you while I've got you, <clears throat> Kodiak just came out with a, their own, they came out with a, a canvas liner for these tents, for almost all of them. For the 9x8, the 10x10, the 10x14, the 12x9 cabin tents. And the liner, I have to be honest, I was a little bit skeptic, uh, uh, skeptical about whether I needed a liner because for the last 10 years I've never used a liner. I've just used my floor and you can see my floor is a little bit dirty. Uh, I sweep it out but sometimes, I mean, maybe I should take a, a wet rag and wipe some of this this dirt off right here. The, that's the reason for this canvas liner. The canvas liner is so heavy. It's, it's so thick. It's not just like a tarp. It's, uh, it's really feels, makes it feel like you're, you're kind of like you're walking on carpet. So people will get this liner. I was convinced as soon as I got one um, 
that it's an awesome product because it's not just a liner. You can actually use it. I actually used it to cover my tomatoes for the frost that happened a few nights ago. It's got these grommets um, every several feet, so you can even stake it down if you're if you need to, to transport something in in the back of a truck or whatever. I mean, there's many uses for it. Um, another great use for it is if you've got a bunch of camp chairs and you got a bunch of firewood and and uh, your picnic stuff and it starts to rain, you can actually take this and cover your gear and keep it dry. You can take it, put it outside, just drape it over your gear till the storm's done and you've just saved your firewood and your, your camp chairs and uh, have improved your camping experience. Um, yeah, so this is this is this is it. This is the this right here is the the one that I'm predicting you're most likely to buy. Let me show you the next one. This is the cabin tent. <clears throat> now, just a moment ago, I showed you that cabin tent over there that has the big awning. Um, this is the same thing. It just doesn't have the awning. Some customers bring their own pop-up uh, awning that they have, and they have no need for an extra awning. So the difference between that one and this one is there's no awning right here, okay? It still has the front vertical wall. And you can see there, this is just a different setup of the same 12 by 9 to give you an idea if you're considering the cabin tent. Uh, it's a six-person tent. Um, it's got windows on every side, so you can get a breeze no matter what direction the wind's blowing. It's got the seven and a half foot tall uh, ceiling, so if you're tall, you're, you're going to love being able to stand up straight, stretch your arms out. This feels more like a room than a tent, and I absolutely love it. Um, you know, one thing I did forget to tell you about these cabin tents, not the flexible, but the cabin tents, is that check this out they have this you can run an extension cord through this zipper right here so there's a zipper run an extension cord if you've got an electric blanket or something uh, you know we get some customers we've actually had some customers in like hawaii and other places that will actually buy these and then rent them out. They'll put them on a wooden platform and then they'll do what's what they call glamping, which is kind of glamour camping. And they'll put a nice mattress in and a, a, uh, a side table. Um, they, some people even run air conditioners. But uh, it it's really is a deluxe way of camping. This one takes about 20 minutes to set up. It's not difficult. You can see from the outside that there's three main ridge poles and that's about it you've got the this and it goes over the ridge down the other side same with these other two poles and then it's got stakes all the way around it so this here what I've shown you is pretty much the full Kodiak line from start to finish the only thing that I haven't shown you is there's a basic a deluxe and a super deluxe VX version of these two cabin of these two flexbow tents right there and then the other thing that I haven't shown you there is uh, but you can see we've got a YouTube video for it but it's the screen house Kodiak came out with a screen house that's canvas it's a different type of canvas than this cotton canvas it's not quite as soft but it's just like this 10 by 14 right here but there's no floor in it so it's great to put over a picnic table um, it's and it's got it's got big old screened windows and it's got an awning on this side and an awning on the back side So it's fantastic. If you have any questions at all Give our experts a call at competitive edge products visit us at competitiveedgeproducts.com Thanks for watching